Oh, I think we've got a, a, a competitor over here. How old are you, sir? 31. You're 31? <laughs> That's a look 31, is it? Fair play to you. What's your name? Mike. Mike, uh, baby face Mike. That's what we're going <laughs> That's cool. So, uh, Mike, and how old are you, madam? <laughs> Me? Yes. <laughs> You've been trying to avoid me all day. <laughs> <laughs> Did you follow me from Liverpool? <laughs> Guy. Guy. We know he's the guy. <laughs> well, unlucky. I'm talking to you now, Mike. You're off the hook. Uh, so, what's your name, my dear? Nicola. Nicola. Uh, so cool. I won't ask you again how old you are because I realised halfway through asking it, it was super rude. And uh, you're quite fit, and I'm single. So, uh, Nicola. Uh, but you've already told me. What's that? You're 26. Oh, that's cool. So I think you might be the youngest person. Anybody, anybody lower? Anybody lower than 26? Anybody lower? Yeah. I mean, higher? Oh, gosh, look at you. I couldn't see you because you're camouflaged in this fur-lined coat that you have. How many, how many muskrats did you have to shoot to get that fur? That's cool. How old are you? You're 22. Uh, no, that was the sound of abject jealousy there in the room. 22. So, uh, 22, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Are you taking long showers as well? <laughs> ah, it's gross when it's a girl, isn't it? No. Uh, I mean to ask, I mean to ask, not to the, I mean it's, it's wonderful, it's lovely, it's perfectly natural. Uh, big funny work, okay. So what's, what's this table here? Well, could you introduce me? What's going on in this? That's my mum. That's your mum. Whoopsie! <laughs> She's 22, it's fine, you've heard it all before. I mean, you're a mum, you guys, you like parents, they're like, oh no, you can't speak about such things. Your mums and dads will be cleaning up poo and piss for your entire life, you'll be you're doing all right. So uh, what is this group here? Is that we all? Friends. Friends? That's a, you, oh my God, I'm, so, I'm really jealous. I have like a friend <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't speak to me anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so we're uh, friends. So what, what's brought this friendship group together? Lots of things, isn't there? Like it. I mean, you didn't go to school with her, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hanger on. That's cool. Hey, you, 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 you know, you're getting stuff for free, so it's all good. <laughs> your mother's your sister-in-law. Oh, you had a tone when you said that as well. Her mother is my sister-in-law, and let me tell you about Janice. So, when Janice drinks rosé wine, no. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I know that you guys weren't here for last year, but I pinpointed this guy and went doo -doo 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 -doo, poof, like that, he was wearing a gilet, and I was like, you definitely sell second-hand cars. And what did he do for a living? He sold second-hand cars. There's something about me, I'm slightly psychic, I'm channeling Derek Akora, that's what I'm doing. God rest his soul, but yeah, a oh, big Derek Akora fan too, that's good. That's alright, he, he's, he's here with us right now, and he's good. So, uh, sister-in-law, so how long have you been sisters-in-laws? Well, I'm glad we got there in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, guys, it's your life. I don't know. I don't know. It's good. So, what's your what's your husband's name? Mike. And uh, what does Mike do for a living? He's a fireman. He's a fireman. Ah, again, the sound of abject jealousy <laughs> from all the females in the room. Uh, how long has he been a fireman? Oh, so he's not a young fireman. Oh, 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 yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, you know, the guy can organise a staff party, but he's, he's not the man he once was. He can hoist me over his shoulder, but only once a year. <laughs> that's cool. So Mike, Mike the fireman. So yeah, so uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've got a thousand questions, and they're all coming to my head at once. So does he come back like you know, all covered in soot? and stuff like that in a sweat. I know, because apparently we're in Dickensian times. <laughs> uh, ash, soot, ash, that's the right word. There you guys, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, so, yeah. so he comes back and he's all like, you know. He's not really sooty. He's not sooty. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. What do you do for a living? You're a nurse. You got a nurse and a fireman. It's like a superhero of the house. Give it a cheer for the nurse, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, 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 wait one second. NHS or private? Hey!
What the fuck are you doing here? On a night off? You long have been lying to us this entire time. The only test is in so much trouble whilst we gloat champagne and go to the comedy night now. Right. You can have one day off, but just the one. Uh, but yeah, so that's cool. So, Nurse, so are we working today? No. You weren't working today? Oh, you just are you just starting out? <laughs> you just working with other doctors, assholes as well. <laughs> oh, we got some. Is there a doctor in the house? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's only one reason that you would be shaking your head, sir, and that's if you were a doctor. And I'm like, no, there's no doctors in here. Quickly hired stethoscope. <laughs> That's cool. Since you want to get involved, let's go to you, sir. What's, the, what's your name? David. David. Everyone say hi, David. Hi, David. So, David, we've had a fireman, we've had a nurse, we've got two lawyers in the room, and they've switched seats as well. He tried to trick me. Now, in between the husband and wife. <laughs> I've heard things about Siren Fester, and I was like, I'm sure that's not...